Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Lightroom to add fog to an image. Now, in this video, I'm going to be using Lightroom Classic to create this effect, but this works equally well with the cloud version of Lightroom, and it's a great effect for a night image such as these, or a wildlife image such as this. One thing, when you add fog to an image to make it look realistic, you'll often have to take the fog off the subject of the scene. For example, this deer or these people. Because the fog, because, for example, this woman is relatively close to the camera, the fog wouldn't be on her. It would be beyond her off in the distance. And there's a few different ways you could do that, and I'm going to be showing you all three methods in this video. Now, we're going to start out with this image, and what I suggest you do is do most of your editing first and add the fog later in your workflow. To add the fog, you're going to use masking. So go up to the masking tools, and specifically, you're going to use a radial gradient. Click on that, and you'll get a plus sign. To add the radial gradient, just click where you want the center of the radial gradient to be, and then draw out. And you could see you could draw out like an oval, or you could draw a circle by holding in the shift key. In this case, I do want an oval, so I'll just draw out an oval. Now, don't worry about making it perfect. We're going to come back in and readjust it towards the end, but just get it on there. And once it's on there, immediately add the fog by going up to tone and taking contrast all the way down, then going to effects and take the haze down. And you can see we're adding fog. And as I mentioned, it won't look realistic if it's on anything in the foreground, such as this person. So we need to remove the fog from her. There's a few different ways you could do that. To do it, though, whatever method you happen to use, you would go up to the subtract button, and then you would use either select subject, select people, or objects. I'll show you all three. Let's start out with select subject. Click on that, and you'll see it found the subject and removed the fog from her. You could hover over the subject mask, and you could see it found the subject perfectly, and it removed the fog. Now, once you have it set up like this, you could come back in and fine-tune it. To fine-tune the mask itself, click on the pin so you get your handles back. Then you could grab a handle and you can move it around, like, you know, as you need to. And what you'll notice is often some of the handles will be off the screen. And if I wanted to grab that top handle, I can't. So what you could do is go to the left panel. I happen to have my left panel closed. To open it, hit the F7 key. And go to this right-hand drop-down and choose a percentage less than 100%. For example, I'll choose 33%. And then you'll notice I could grab this top handle. But you'll also notice if I grab either the left, right, or top, or bottom handles, if I move them, it will move the opposite handle equally. So moving this top handle also moves the bottom handle. If I want to move this top handle all by itself, hold in the Alt or Option key, Alt if you have PC option, if you have a Mac, and then move it. You can see I can move it independently. Same thing with the side handles. I could move them equally, but if I want to move the left one all by itself, hold in that Alt Option key. And I could do that and make it look a little bit more realistic, like that. When you're satisfied with it, again, you could hover over it to see the mask. You could change the fade of the actual um, radial gradient by this handle right here. If you want it more like that, that's good. When you're satisfied with this, go back over here and click on Fit. And there you are, and close down masking, and there's before, and there's after. Let's try another one, and I'll show you another method to isolate the subject. In this case, we're going to use the people uh, option to isolate the people in this image. So again, I'm going to go up to masking, and in this case, again, I'm going to choose the radial gradient, and I'm going to draw it out kind of roughly where I want it. Then, since I have effects open, I'll go right to Dehaze and take that down. And then I'll go to Tone, and I'll take, or I'm sorry, take, not Exposure, take Contrast down. 
Now we need to remove the people from the equation. To do that, we're going to again go to subtract, but instead of subject this time, we're going to go to select people. And you'll see you'll have the options of individual people or all people. Obviously, we want to use all people. Click on that. Make sure the entire person check mark gets checked. Then go down here and click on create mask. And you can see it isolated the people just fine. Now, let's just say for the sake of argument that I had uh, dehaze all the way down. And up in tone, I had contrast all the way down. And I wanted more fog. Well, there's an amount slider right here. So I can move this to the right to give myself more fog if I wanted to. And again, I could fine tune the actual mask by clicking on the little pin. Go over here and click on something smaller than 100%. And then I could come in and hold in this alt option key on these handles here and get it looking more the way I want it to look. Like that. And then when I'm satisfied, click on fit and then close down masking. Now, there's another way. Uh, if you, let's say the subject isn't working or the person isn't working like I did in these past two examples, there's another way we could isolate the subject. So for this image, I want the fog off in the distance. I really don't want it too much in the foreground here, but just kind of behind the deer. So again, we'll go to masking. We'll go to our radial gradient. I'm going to draw it off like this, kind of, maybe push it up a little more. Maybe grab this handle here and just pull it up a little more. We're going to go to contrast, take this all the way down, and then we'll go to effects and we'll take the haze down. Now you can see how it's over the deer. Well, we're going to subtract the deer. To do that, go to subtract. And let's just say select subject doesn't work. And obviously, this isn't a person, so that wouldn't work. Well, we could go to select objects. With select objects, you could select the object one of two ways. You could use either a brush, and with a brush, you would just draw around, let's say, the perimeter of the deer, and it will usually do a great job and select the deer. Or if it's kind of off in the distance, it might be easier just to grab the other option, the rectangular marquee tool. And with it, just draw a rectangle around the object, and you'll see it will mask out the object perfectly. If you want to check the mask, hover over where it says Object 1, and you can see it masked the deer perfectly. And again, we could come back in and readjust things, click on this little pin. Maybe I want it more to the left, but not to the right, holding that Alt Option key. Take this more to the left. Maybe I want it a little bit more up in the sky, but not at the deer's feet, so still holding that Alt Option key. Maybe I want it to be a little more tighter in the middle, like that. I think that looks decent. All right, we'll close down masking, and there is our end result. Before, after, well, that's the entire before because I did editing to this image. So let's just show you without the mask. There's before, and there's after. Before, after. That's it. That's how you add fog to an image using in this case, Lightroom Classic, but the masking tools work exactly the same way in the so-called cloud version of Lightroom or Lightroom Desktop, or as it's officially called, just Lightroom. If you're using that app, this will work equally well. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.